What's up guys, Mr. here, today we're going to be talking about the Pokemon Go tracking system, the new one that was actually implemented yesterday, August 8th, not depending when you watch this, it's going to be either later or earlier, but yes, that this, this did improve a number of things within Pokemon Go, I think definitely the game is more playable than it was, let's say, for a few weeks ago, because a few weeks ago, face it, the game was unplayable, literally you couldn't play because no tracking system, they took down the Pokemon websites that show you where the Pokemon are, I just hated the game like a few weeks ago I still play it though because I liked it and the question is are the servers gonna start dropping like they were in the beginning obviously they're not gonna be dropping like they were at the peak of the game when it came out when like millions on top of millions of people were playing it because there's the player base is just not there anymore because people some you know got bored some people didn't but obviously some people still want to play this game and I'm glad Niantic is actually addressing this issue and they implemented a new tracking system now what is this new tracking system we're gonna see some games play the background and pretty much it just shows you which pokemon are nearby on pokestop so for example you have a execute and you click view you view at which pokestop execute is you go to that pokestop execute is probably going to be there now you have underneath that you have settings which is not the same as click and view because that you see where the pokemon is you know in the nearby you know pokestop this actually just so shows you what pokemon are nearby but not the three step you know system it literally just just shows nearby it's just the same you know the game we had like a few weeks ago where we just had no footsteps with some grass in the background pretty much it didn't change anything but it's showing what pokemon are nearby i definitely think that needs improvement because there's no point in saying this pokemon is nearby i don't know where to go like even like some indication that i'm going to the right direction that he is near no closer than he was like five meters ago or something like that but definitely it's a step in the right direction what they're doing i definitely think the view option is good it's gonna help a lot of trainers to catch pokemon they need for example you like have some pokemon that's really rare and you want to find them like before you really couldn't find it because you had to guess where to go and within five minutes he could despawn and not be there anymore like yesterday i almost caught an electro buzz i couldn't find him because there's no no indication as to where he is now i think that this still needs improving in terms of the signings they should add something more so that indicates where the pokemon is not literally show you where he is but show that you're going the right direction that he He's closer than he was a few meters ago and overall I think this is a good step and yeah I can't wait to see what they're gonna bring next because you know I like Pokemon Go I like playing every single day and you know catching them all so yeah that's pretty much it guys for today's video I'm sh sorry it was short yesterday we had like a 16 minute video that took me five hours to render so that was crazy so I do apologize for not having a video the day before that I just couldn't render this video out quick enough and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys want to leave a like if you enjoyed the video if not that's cool i will see you guys later and peace out if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to slap a like on it if not you know what to do on the left you can see a doom let's play on the right you can see a surprise video i still haven't decided what it is but click on that and at the top right you can see a card click on that to watch the doom let's play and the surprise video peace out guys